Tonight we've gone original, we've gone ghetto, we've gone gully, we've gone real. Controversial some would say. We've gone to Black Twang's launch of his new album, Speaking From Experience. Oh man, tonight's going to be explosive, you know, at the end of the day, um, the album's called Speaking From Experiences. I mean, from, from experience, I'm going to be sharing a lot of my experiences with you as far as being in the game, what motivated me, what inspired me um, as an artist, like I, like I just mentioned. And I'm really just, let's have fun, man, let's party, play you some of the vibes that kind of I grew up on, some of my classic material that people are, are familiar with, exactly that like they know and love, introduce them to the new stuff, and I'm really just go for it like that. Every day of my life, I get that. I've come this far, I've been close to getting shot. I come my blessings and keep on. Did you look up to him? Of course, man. Black Twang, man. Trust me, like, 19 is a long time, like, you know what I mean? You, you understand it? You could ask this one of my old codies over there, you couldn't ask him yet. I was playing Black Twang for long. I was a youth, but I had dreams of being the best ever. A lot of men were into American hip hop at the time, but I was saying, look, this is what was good. It's gonna pop up. I mean, and the fact that Black Twang is stuck to his guns and he's still here today, still making albums, still making quality product, I mean, it's, it's definitely inspirational for me. I still remember MC Duke. Mellow and morning love. I used to wonder if one day people will show me love. I started recording my demos in Angel Town. He, he just never disappoints. Um, Owe is one of the most consistent UK artists ever, like in the history of evidence. Um, like, like, since he put out stuff, it, like never disappoints. Albums are always fire. So, yeah. No matter where I go, I'm still around. What is Tony Rotten really like? The, the side that we don't get to see. Mm. Mr. Rotten is. He's a real brother, you know, he's like, he's like a big brother to me, he's a, he's a mentor, he's motivated and um, he's fun to work with, you know, he's one of the most real people I've ever met. I can go anywhere I want to go, the road is my backdrop, all the areas of manners, all of them little black... The thing I like about Tony is that he actually is a man of his word, you know, I met him like, not crazy long ago, but he's always stuck to his word in, in regards to what he said to me, so yeah man, I'm out to show like love and just really just... Dealers and killers, ever jungle gorillas, blue and white color villains, soft models with cobalt or shit, I love that. Man, it's been a long road, as I say. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's what makes me as an individual, it makes me the artist that I am. It makes me appreciate the struggle, because without the struggle, you want to enjoy it when, you know, you're up there. And you want to enjoy the freedom, leave us. So for me, you know, it's been hard, but the people that really count, which are the music lovers, the fans, the people that appreciate um, the effort that we put into the music itself. You know, I've enjoyed my music over the years, so. True school artists in the building. Million done now from living the rap life. Jim. Joint TV.